I know not everybody can grow a garden. And you know what? It's okay. Hi everyone, welcome back at Tanya's place. I'm here at the house and there is something I want to talk to you about. There's been something on my heart uh, pretty heavy and I did not know these things before and I was wondering if y'all knew about this. So here it is. Y'all have seen me feed my chickens greens and stuff like that when I started out on my videos. If you want to see them just go back on my content on my videos you can see them. And I used to buy a whole bunch of greens out from the grocery store. Well um, not very long ago I have found out that the produce that you get at the grocery store is not what it seemed. I became aware of this um, very recently and I was very shocked. The reason is because there is so much stuff going on in this world right now with people, you know, everything in the food that we pretty much have in the grocery store, everything has sugar in it. Uh, since Tony's been on the carnivore diet, I have become more aware of what is inside of your food. So processed food, I try not to buy anymore because it's just not healthy anymore and there's so much stuff in there that's not good for you. Eating healthy is expensive. Um, you know, you try to go to the store and buy the healthy food. Uh, the granola bars, you know, and the stuff that's supposed to be good for you. Well, buying the food at the grocery store sometimes it's, can, can be very confusing. So when you go to a store and you look for the healthy, the healthy food and you need to look on the back because if it does not have regular sugar in it, it has some kind of other type. That is one thing I've been looking at. So I thought all this, all this time eating those granola bars and you know, this healthy stuff was actually good for you. Well, guess what? No, it isn't. I love having a garden and it's been very helpful for me in my having my chickens and also having fresh vegetables for me handy. I just love the, you know, I just love it. What Chris? What is it buddy? <laughs> I did start my own garden a few years ago. I did not realize how important that really is for me. I always love gardening and it's just in my blood for my grandma she used to be a big gardener and you know preserving food and all this stuff but I really didn't grow up with it what is wrong with you you little stinker quit <laughs> you're a mess I got into gardening um, it changed my life not only was I saving money for my chickens and trying to get the cost down because everything was just so expensive and uh, knowing where your stuff was come from. So recently what I found out was that when you go to the grocery store and you go and you want to get your chickens, you know, some fresh veggies out of the produce area and to for them to have fresh fruit if you don't have a garden and that's okay. Well, that's what well, at least I thought it was okay. Uh, and uh, I really... I really don't know how to say it, just to go ahead and just say it. But the food that you buy in the grocery store, the fresh fruit, if you ever noticed, did you ever notice the water coming off the ceiling there to spray the vegetables? I remember when when I, you know, go to the grocery store here in the States and stuff like that and I saw the water coming down and you know, I always stuck my hand in there and trying to get my hands wet and everything because that was kind of neat. But finding out uh, it's not water, the stuff that they're spraying in, in the grocery store on the fresh produce over there, where you see the water coming down, it's actually chemicals. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but I know that the chemicals that they spray on is for them to keep the produce fresh. 
so they don't go bad as fast. Mm. But yes, to keep the produce fresh. And you know, you don't think nothing much about it, but knowing that when you buy your, your stuff at the grocery for your chicken and the water, that stuff that comes down on your vegetables over there is not water, it's instead chemicals. And you don't think about this stuff. I didn't think nothing about it when I did it. So I'm guilty as charged. And it's that's one thing that makes me so sad knowing that and knowing that, you know, we poison our chickens with that. And I know that when we get when we could buy the vegetables over there in that area would have sprinkled the stuff on there the, the chemicals we wash our our food and i don't remember ever washing the stuff from from when i bought it there to give to my chickens so hmm that kind of make me think i barely buy stuff at the grocery store anymore for for us like food wise except some some things, but most of it when I do go to the grocery store, I buy the uh, essentials like the toilet paper, paper towels, and stuff like that that you need, you know. And like food wise, I'm very, very cautious now because they're putting all the stuff in the canned goods where it was made. It's not real food, it's fake, it's rubbery. I mean, this is some scary stuff, and it's really affecting me because. All the stuff that I thought it was healthy for you isn't. The stuff that I used to love eating, it's bad for you because it has a certain stuff in it. And it just makes it really hard to really enjoy food because of, because of that reason. It all changed all the stuff. You actually can buy a can, can good saying, you know, it was made in America and it was fresh and it only had exp expiration date on there. Well, you know, you know, if you don't go past the expiration date, you know it wasn't good anymore, so you throw it away. Well, if you look closely, most of the time they don't even do this anymore. And where the stuff come from, um, it's just really, really sad. Before COVID hit, I was concerned about, you know, making sure we had enough food and all the stuff, and so I went ahead and stocked up on a lot of things. So a lot of the stuff was actually not good, so I tossed it. Um, when I saw without the chickens, I had my chicken eggs in my garden. I had fresh produce so, and I, I was canning, I was freeze drying and that really made me feel good knowing that I have that as a backup. I know not everybody can grow a garden and you know what? It's okay. Um, there are so many other options that what you can do. For example, if you do not have a garden, but you still want fresh vegetables and stuff like that, you can go to a vegetable stand to the marketplace when they have uh, got you know people come in there selling their produce you can go on the side of the road when they'll set up selling peaches and tomatoes whatever it says is selling you can go there get your fresh produce or if you have a friend you know a good neighbor that was lovely sharing your his harvest out of their garden so yeah there's many other ways you can do but I just don't trust the store anymore when I go get stuff that I need And think about when you go to a little farm stand on the side of the road or you go to the markets when people set up that you actually support your local area and also to keep them going to keep growing stuff so they can sell it what I like about knowing that when they sell the stuff on you know when they sell the stuff and you don't have to go to the store and you can get it from them knowing where it's coming from I just feel so much better Knowing, knowing today what you, what your chickens eat or what we eat. So, like I said, this is just, I just want to share this with y'all and I did not, I don't know if you knew about this. So, it's just something to become, be aware of this stuff kind of thing. And, uh, and I really, I rather support a local farmer or an area that people sell their stuff, the market, you know, to go there and get my things that I need. So you thinking, well, the stuff does not last very long if you get it fresh. Well, you got a couple of things you can do. You can can them, you can freeze dry them, or you can put them in your freezer. That will give you fresh vegetables and stuff like that 
in the winter time or in a time when it does not grow and you still got you you're going to get what you want well i can't afford a freeze dryer you know what a freeze dryer is an investment yes it's kind of expensive but if you think about how much food you can save for so many years and it's still going to be good after this all this time and it tastes just like it when you put it in that day i just think that's just awesome garden has this year has been a failure my pink german tomatoes are not doing so good and i don't know if something got in it or i don't i really don't know but we had one big storm and just pretty much knocked them all down but you know what it's okay so my goal is to cut them all down and you see how bad they look i mean they're just so sad i'm kind of embarrassed to show you all this but it's just part of the real life in gardening that can happen and i got some kind of whole bunch of caterpillars on here and i'm going to give those to the chickens oh there's one right here see them they are sticky Woo! <laughs> she got it and she's running away with it so having a garden even when you get those worms make great chicken treats for the chickens let me see if I can find some more well, there was one right here So some of y'all have been wondering also how all my green beans are doing in my loofah. Let me show you. They're just, here all they are, and they have made a comeback. And I've been getting more beans again. So one thing I've learned though is not to freeze dry those. I mean, look how long this thing is. I mean, this is long. I'm gonna have to pick those. But yes, they are, totally came back and I was I thought honestly they'll be done and I'm not going to get any more but they're really strong and the ones right here they're kind of done you know they're because they're too big and they got the beans in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save those for next year and some of them have to wait till after they're dried up because it's been raining so much and go ahead and harvest those when they're all dried up on the vine and I'm going to save them for next year and I'm going to plant them on the, what are you doing? You silly cat. Uh, plant them at the farm. So, and here's my loofah. I can't wait to take this down, to be honest. Such a hot mess in here. Here you go. See, there's some more dried up right here. I'm going to take off and dry them up but I love this overgrown thing part so I really like this a lot but here is my loofah right here I got my first big loofah so I look forward to when it's time for it to be harvest so and I got a whole bunch of other blooms and I'm hoping I'll get some more but this is the first one that I have gotten so this is very exciting but it looks so cool I love it and my cantaloupe right here. Oh, look at this. I got one big grown behind the whole thing. I need to take the panel off to get that one. And that's a new one right there. And I got my other ones right there and here. But I don't think they're quite ready yet. But got four cantaloupe. So anyway, this is here the garden. So I just wanted to show it to y'all real quick. I want to cut down all the tomatoes down and go ahead and pull them all up and then expose the the plant stuff in the compost and uh, I didn't know that either but the actually the greens and the tomato plant is not very healthy for the chickens either so I want to make sure my chickens are safe and healthy and they eat good and I got quite a few worms I just bought another one um, that you know be aware of what you feed your chickens you if you want to have your chickens healthy like I said grow a garden or go shop at the local farmers market or local area where they sell vegetables and fruits 
and do that way and preserve your stuff for the down the road when it gets colder when it's not in season now if you have chickens you always gonna get them fresh eggs but yes I just wanted to share this with y'all and like I said I did not know uh, if you kind of aware of this I told my friend about that and she was pretty much shocked and she said you just cannot trust those grocery stores anymore these days so if you're gardening it's also a good therapy for you and you get some fresh produce that you can have and enjoy. Goodness, Henry Chris. This video is not an attempt to draw, you know, scare everybody, but just to become aware what is going on in this world. Um, there are a lot of homesteaders and a lot of preppers who are been preparing already and like I said if you can't do a garden there are other ways you can get your vegetables and your fruits. I hope this video opened your eyes a little bit. Again I'm not trying to scare anybody but be more aware what you feed your chickens and I like I said, I'm just really, it is so sad. And I'm trying to stay positive in my videos, but that is something I need to share when I found out. Like a lot of people have no idea what is really going on. So like I said, we can wash our produce and I never washed my chickens their feet. I just gave it to them. So yes, my chickens are my babies and I'm trying to take the best care that I can give them and the best food that I can provide for them. So it's just life. You're just trying to deal with it. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope to see y'all next video. God bless y'all. Bye.